Hello everybody, it is John and today we are looking at the uh, longboat which has been, um, which I have gotten from Paul at BP Laser and uh, this is a really simple model to put together. Now this particular this particular model, the longboat, I can literally find use for this in <clears throat> so many games uh, that I think I would probably like to have quite a few of them really because they're just the right thing to have sitting in a dock in a dock situation or um, or even say with um, boarding parties and uh, look it would even be good for or useful say for uh, skirmish napoleonics so it's fairly simple now they were the bracings that the seats sit on that I've just put in and the prow and what I've done is is that uh, I have um, found actually that with this particular cut and I think it may just be the weather again here in Brisbane but the uh, the fit is very tight and it is as you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble trying to get some of them in now one of those seats actually has a hole in it which you're just seeing that's actually where the mast fits in and you'll see there I am going yep that looks good that'll fit in there nicely so again you can you know you can use that or not use it with uh, with your boat when you finish it works out well so this did not take me too long to put together I know that I've sped it up but I think it was under an hour or so for this particular model to be assembled and um, the hardest part really is just waiting for the glue to dry at the moment here in in Brisbane it's uh, it's not really cold but there is a there's a strong dry breeze and I think that's helping with um, with speeding up a little bit of the uh, the drying period now I've tried a different um, angle with this at the moment so I don't know how well it is now obviously parts are falling out of um, out of focus so I do apologize but hopefully the problem is is as I push everything further up the screen it starts to disappear because of obviously the angle that the camera is going at um, or in this case it's actually only a phone uh, this particular video was done with a very old um, Samsung I can't remember what edition it was but I had it sitting around and I thought I wonder if I might try and use it for uh, uh, for videoing and it looks like it's done a reasonable job now again I always recommend do um, tape down sections just because it uh, allows the sections to bond and uh, again it's yeah, just makes life so much easier than hoping that the uh, hoping that the model will actually glue solid so taking off all this oh we've got a bit of different speed factor in this one do apologize my phone's often dinging again um not one of my other phones anyway it's a uh, it's always fun having to try and do videos because i need to tell my wife not to use the uh, the bathroom next door because sadly the noise just echoes in here something horrible oh there we go that that was obviously far too much information for you so i've whacked on the uh the first of the hulls uh, side hulls and again tape it down because you're going to need to do that and particularly at the front of the uh, at the prow you really really do need to have the uh, 
that securely glued in place and you need to apply obviously a little bit of pressure to pull it in which is what I found so that's looking good then start to work on the uh, on the other side I can't believe how dear wood glue is now it's gone up but just about honestly everything everything's gone up at the moment so uh, it you know it really is quite a good model this one I, as I said I, I can see multiple uses for this you know even if you wanted to use it say for the um, say in Lord of the Rings with the uh, river crossing with the orcs uh, because once again um, you know don't read everything that uh, Peter Jackson interpreted for for Lord of the Rings as any form of gospel but uh, uh, yeah it's yeah got so many so many applications that I can use this for so many skirmish games naval games I've got pirates I, I must actually dig my pirates out again I think that'd make a pirates or you could run it say with a game of Mordheim or something like that now you do end up with three planks on each side oh what which you can use on each side to um, I guess simulate the whole planking I once I got to um, adhering them I only put two planks on you can clean you know you can you can put three on if you want to do the uh, to do that but I just find that it was just as simple to do two and with the leftover planks I've used them for the stern so here we go putting the first one on and of course the you know wood glue cardboard gluing together is a lot quicker so you do need to be a little uh, careful with how you uh, fiddle so there we go that's pottering around along nicely and I do apologize it's all out of out of picture oh I don't know I'm gonna to have to shoot that cameraman of mine he's uh, he's not not doing his job very well but uh, I said I had a little bit of trouble because yeah because uh, I'm talking about this particular phone is that while it will um, uh, reduce down in other words give you close-ups it won't for some reason go out like for instance I can do I think a 0.5 on my current Samsung and uh, it works it works nicely picks up everything which you'll see in the video for the uh, for the cutter which will be probably up in a day or two but uh, as I said this is an experiment in uh, in a different angle rather than a pure top-down approach and I think it's worked out okay but again yep tape every section because you really do need that glue to dry particularly at the uh, at the prow of the ship where you really do need otherwise you can have the planking warping out and it'll look really really silly on your final model and as you can see I've used the um, additional planks that I've not used to make the planking for the rear of the uh, of the boat so uh, it does require I must must change my blade on this sharpness of the blades don't seem to last very long these days so here am I using a pair of cutters now to <laughs> you use anything and everything when you're trying to put something together whatever works is what I say um, so I'm actually going to undercoat and paint uh, this particular vessel it's the smallest one uh, in my collection so uh, I wanted to give it I wanted to do a painted version 
because everybody always sees the under, you know, the uh, the base, the base model, but not too many people seem to have pictures or or show what a painted model looks like. So I thought, okay, well, we'll start with this one. I've been able to, uh, I've actually got to go up to uh, one of our hardware stores and try and pick up some some more. Uh, uh, spray paints because I've uh, had a look at the ones that I had a look at. I haven't painted a, a painted a figure in nearly a decade now so uh, my interests have sort of wandered off into sadly into other areas. I get so easily distracted but uh, it's so that's worked out well so yeah I'll I'll paint this one up and uh, whether or not I do a video of me painting it I don't know maybe I'll just throw pictures up on my Instagram or uh, or Twitter account to show the end product but this is essentially the end of the that's it that's all there is as I said it's a really really nice it's a nice model so uh, Look, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think of the angle. And uh, so till next time, signing off, the Honourable John.